Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, with me, Commissar Rocha and Benjamin Magnet. Uh, how about we get out of this, uh, the shithole, go back to town and do our goddamn murder mystery? Yeah, that's great. Let's do rift travel. Uh, I think we need to go to... Oh, I guess we all go at the same time. Yeah, I just clicked I just... the thing and it did the, did the thing. Oh, we got the cat man. Source hunters. I welcome oh, you Jesus. Once again oh, no, the, the cat man is his... After your travels through the chasms of space. Nice no, yeah. no, not not two pun man. Yep. This is oh god. I know the imp historian has told you about yep. his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is. Up. Yeah, I piece that together. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzax, let us turn to the business. Sir, of is he knighted? Uh, apparently. He knighted him. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. Okay. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Councillor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. I... really? That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. Hmm. Hmm. While you were being lectured by our friend the historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. Okay. The advantage of being a cat, you know. I know you're a cat, goddammit. Please with impunity. And sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of star stones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. <laughs> bloody murder! Bloody murder! You know what? Before I'm done talking go, to you. Here. Take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You Why didn't give the us other one too I don't know. if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry though. Use this one here and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So if you spot a white cat during Yeah, yep, you're a cat, I get it. Shut up, murder mystery. Oh. Oh god. Uh hold on, map. Where are we going? I think we're going this way. Yeah, we're going to the tavern, aren't we? Yeah, sharp left here. Let's observe the murder scene, even though it's probably been desecrated because there was a teleportation incident in the inside of it. Yep, random explosion. All the forensics are gone. <laughs> it's been years getting my magical forensics degree, and now I have to mend time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fucking finally, I'm in the goddamn room. <laughs> this guard probably has the worst time ever. Wait, didn't you just go in there? What the hell? Splat, that's a lot of blood. Yes, it is. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll pick these locks. Looking or good. not. Still a painting. Oh, I don't. I remember I don't have lock picking as a skill. So I just lay down here. Got it. All right, so I guess take the stone. Uh, there's no, there's nothing else in here. Looking good. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have taken the picture, but just leave that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. It stands up on its own. Just gonna, just gonna put this. Uh... Right there, close enough. Nobody'll nobody'll notice anything. I think. 
I don't think that works. It's a level five chest. Ben. I busted open a level five chest before with a club. Yeah, but remember, your sword and shit degrades over time. I gotta back up. There's gotta be something Dude. else in this goddamn room other than that inert stone. Help me with the chest, goddammit! Thank you! Can I just... Did that help? <laughs> Make me good at hitting? All right, what do we got? Oh, we got a le uh, grenade and a letter. I have a wand. Antique wooden water wand. The Duke of Ferrell is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. It was a joke. <laughs> Wait, dears. Okay, no, yeah, uh, um, it's a poem about Esmeruvia. Did you just close the door on us? Yeah, uh, um, I think next. I don't want to give this lady a, the wrong message. <laughs> I think the next step is going to be talking to Esmeralda. Where? Oh, you mean the suspect? Yeah. I think that's the, I think that's the next step here. Understood. All right, she's just like across the way here. Let's just not pay attention to the fact that time is ending and our very existence hangs in the balance of us being competently able to investigate a murder. Yep, it's fine. Okay, this is the back door I went to, apparently. Yeah, that's why I went to the front door. Shut up. Oh, this is her, like, shop. Shop security guard. Wait, if she's the suspect, why is she just walking around? I'm... I'm starting to feel like the Legion doesn't have a lot of they're not, sense. They're not good police officers. Oh, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Who are you? I know who you are. <laughs> Let's discuss your husband's murder. Like I told just about every Legionnaire in town. I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? You're a bitch. So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. This love letter seems a little incriminating. Oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A Poorly worded passion I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. Wait, what? Wait, the guy that's standing he's right next right to here? us? <laughs> Wait, I don't get to I don't I, I don't get to, to press that issue? <laughs> well, what do you want to know? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake. And now I know who you are. Okay, I know who you are. Stone. I've never heard of such a thing. Dear Jake had a mineral collection, yes. As far as I knew... <laughs> there were minerals, Marie! <laughs> Do you mean to imply he collected something dangerous? Something that may have gotten him into trouble? No. This is all too much. I feel like I'm drifting from nightmare into nightmare. Uh, yeah, it must suck. That's the end of that. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce some... Well, this is forward-thinking society. Innocent until proven guilty when we're still using swords and shields. Yep. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of River. Yeah, he's boffing her. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy. And indeed, a fabrication. 
steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof All right. exists. Okay, Jake's dead. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicilia. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery. I mean, the outside looks pretty nice for being under siege by undead. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> There's kids walking around inside, for God's sake. Playing soccer in the streets. In the murder of her husband? Well, let's have it then. There now. She Take a look at the letter. Feral along. Ha! A pampered brat, that duke. Just like she says. Vox worse than his bite, no doubt. Listen up, man. That's a member of nobility. You treat him with respect. Steadfast and by milady's side. Where were you when Jake was murdered? No, I don't have any of those options. <laughs> There's no conversation dialogues that go that way. Would your wife or sweetheart be compensated by the Legion should tragedy befall you on the battlefield? I... I suppose so, milady. Wow, this is but getting weird. I'm neither married, engaged, or attached in any way. I've never bothered to inquire. And she has problems with being called a gold digger? Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere tonight, Legionnaire. I'd be afraid alone in the dark. Your husband splattered in a hotel room just his, down the street. His blood is still wet. My God, lady, you are horrible. You are a horrible person. What? what? I mean, there's conversation dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue tree I want to hit that the game doesn't want me to. Oh my God. <laughs> well, there's nothing left for us here. She is such a horrible person. Ooh. These weapons aren't actually you know what let's have a conversation about these weapons the you got returns. barter I hope you are here what do you got rather than sleuth uh nothing really good antique leather armor of vitality sharp fighting leathers knife. of vitality mm -hmm. oh wow my staff has durability as well yep Got a bunch of crap laying around in my inventory. Apparently, I picked up a few pillows. Here, take take those pillows. Okay, I learned how to make an arrow shaft. Kudos. And tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, really? New recipe: arrow shaft. Cheese bread dough. Pizza dough. So we're just gonna make some pizza. Dough. Dough. To sell, to sell fish pie, fish pie dough. Where did all this come from? Elemental quarterstaff, that seems odd. Homemade spear. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna give this to you. Why don't you read that book? Just go through all the pages, you don't actually have to read it, and then whenever you're done with it, it'll, uh, it'll give you all those recipes. What book? I gave you a book. Look in your inventory. It's a yellow book. Uh, crafting and cooking. Yep. Okay, how do we actually? Was there a crafting menu? Did you read? Uh, did you read all the pages? Oh, you don't know where I am. <laughs> did you read all the pages? Yeah. Okay, so you starting. You're getting the pop-ups of all the. Yeah. Oh, I got. Menu. I got them when you were doing them. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I think we have to go to, like, I think there's, like, a... I don't know. <laughs> All right, well... Ooh, patty cake, patty cake, volume three. Why, maybe we go back and, and talk to Who's It's again about what we found. That might help. Not that way. So now we're just now we're at the point in time where the GM's given us everything he's got, mm -hmm. and now we have to make do with the uh, with the clues we have. Yep. But we're just too dense to figure it out. Yep. 
No, oh, I know the feeling. I know that feeling from both sides of the table. Yeah, so do I. Who are we trying to talk to? The guard I, captain. I think we go. I think we're gonna we go, we tr go try to talk to the guard captain again. See if he's got. Is, 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 goes, he knows anything about the stones or uh, as Morella does, being a whoremonger. Uh, let's discuss Jake's murder. What about it? In regards he's, to Jake's he's, wife. He's still dead. Well, have you found any incriminating evidence against her? If so, let's have it. Like I said, the girl's known to be a flirt. But that sob of a feral doesn't have the metal to commit murder. And as far as I'm concerned, neither has she. Oh, if you must. Huh. Okay. So maybe we have to talk to the Duke guy. So let's let's ask let's go to the office of that guy up the up the stairs and see if he knows where he's at. This is Catman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he knows where this Duke's at. I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. Um I don't need to know about more about you. By all means. Discuss Jake's of murder. Course. I hope your investigation fares well. Let's discuss Jake's corpse, which we haven't seen yet. It might be a bit late to inspect the body in that it has already oh. been buried. It may be worth your while to speak to the mortician, though. Chap called Roberts. He has a house by the graveyard. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Roberts, let's go let's go talk to Roberts. All right, where is he at? He's got a house by the graveyard, so I think we got to find the graveyard. Uh, yep, probably. So I guess we just wander. Where would it be in this town? Pro somewhere near the I would the graveyard. Somewhere near the edge. I wouldn't one would imagine. Also, maybe near a church. So not in that corner. We literally just went around in a circle. Yep. Then. Yep. We did. You can zoom out, you know. Um. Do you want to take the right up here and see if there's anything by the by the other side of the gate? If we don't you know, take a right, then another right. Sure. Hmm. Maybe up here. Cool looking ballista. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Wait a second, that's not a ballista. That thing's got a fucking focusing array in the front of it. That thing doesn't shoot arrows, look at it. It Oh, it's like a laser. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it, what it looks like what it does is it, it like, it, it pulls the stone back and then crams it oh, into it like strikes? an array. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like the stone is, is like the firing pin. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually probably interesting. I kind of like the mix of magic and yeah. evil there. Well, this is this is a weird mix of like Roman esque history, medieval Europe, and like sci fantasy. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> Evil lurks beyond sci seals ramparts. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This looks this looks promising. Wait a second. There's an undead. There's an undead siege going on. Hey, we're, we're, why is why is there not guards? Definitely. On the fucking. Let's dig up some carcasses. Oh, we need a oh, shovel. Hey, look, it's a dog, Murphy. That, hey, boy. Does it does it woof at you? Woof woof. It seems it seems like he's eager to tell you something. What is it, boy? Huh? What is it? Timmy fell down the well. Uh oh oh no 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 no! no. What, oh what, no! Uh, 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 close the gates! Close the gates! Close oh the gates. God, road. <laughs> Roach, um, I'm almost dead. Oh my god. I'm dead. Is it Helen? Oh, fuck. Helen just one-shot me. Uh... Okay. Treat, treat poisoning, I don't need that. Uh... What level is she? What, what level is she? 
Question Eight. marks. Just question marks. Um, a uh, flea. Good show. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have dug up her grave. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. In the combat turn? Wait, you got the dog with you too now? <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I don't know. Oh! No, no, oh, my oh my gosh! Oh, no! Oh my gosh! Not the dog! Oh my gosh. Please! Flee. That bitch is dead. Okay. Yeah, uh, so yeah, she, she, I didn't even get a turn. So, what do I need to do now? Uh, resurrect. I don't have a revive scroll. Uh. Oh, wait, no, we do have a revive scroll. We have one in, uh. Have one in my inventory. The only problem is, is that uh, the ghost person's there. Well, you just gotta revive me like on the other side of the wall. Yeah, we need to go to. We need to get to a. Uh, a uh, what's the word? We need to get to a, a person uh, that sells things. A shopkeep. And buy uh, some revive scrolls. What does this say? Grave diggers, you wish you hadn't. Whoops! <laughs> Probably should have read that, man. Nice, Kimberly. Finally. <laughs> wow. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that chicken's just a person. Wait, what about the? Uh, is this? All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna try one other thing. That's a sheep. Where's Jake's corpse? Oh my. A sheep. Yeah, there's 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 like a lamb in there. Jake's not in it. Uh well hold on. Let's look around. Where where's the Okay, I think the house is down south a little bit. You can kill me, but you'll never kill the dancer inside me. Uh, the sun is out. Yet I Who's who is it we're looking for? Not this guy, but oh. Nice Mortician's Mortician's Morgue down here on the uh, on the map. Pray, let me be forward with you. The only problem is, is I think we have to. Yeah, we have to go over here. That was he was just a quest giver. <laughs> okay. I just I just clicked through it. I was tired of listening to people talk to me. Talk at you. Yeah. Yeah, that was out of my league. Mortician's workplace. Whoop! I just here you are, damn it! I just stole something. Upstairs. Hang on, I'm I'm doing some things. Got my eyes on the prize. What the fuck? Are, 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 those, infer those, inf those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? What does that mean? What? Uh, can you tell me about Jake's murder? Sad story, that. Though if I'm speaking plainly, the sentimental aspect of it all doesn't make much of an impression on an undertaker. Especially not these days, with so many laid low by the orcs and such like. Doesn't really I seem that bad here. Myself with giving the remains a respectable exit from life. We set him to rest in the northern graveyard. Perhaps he can finally get a little peace. About, th yeah, about that sheep, though. About that. A sheep? That's a whole heap of nonsense. Don't bother me with such wild tales. Maybe we should have taken the sheep with us. Charm, intimidate, or reason. Uh, tell you what. You can tell me the truth about that sheep. And I won't bother bearing you alongside it. <laughs> I've heard that you're a good man. Now it's your chance to help your community. 
come clean and, and uh, whoever's responsible for taking the body which could be brought to justice. Look, it's clear I'm only a few steps away from solving this mystery. If you don't tell me the truth, I'll simply find another way. Why delay the inevitable? Oh, what do we want to do, Ben? Well, I have a plus five to intimidation, but I roll bad, so. I actually don't know what mine is. I cannot check. Oh well, I was uh, just I was just talking about Kristoff. Oh, uh, let's do intimidate. Uh, or you know what? You know what they say about uh, about more flies with honey. Oh, okay, there's a mini game right now. Win a series of rock paper scissors matches to convince the other party. What for points and charisma gain an advantage? Okay. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Which one? Rock, paper, or scissors? Or everybody goes rock, so go paper. He won. Of course I did. Uh, I don't know how this works. Uh, no, he won. Uh, oh. Fuck me. Uh, shears! Bullet, paper, shears. Damn it, he got a rock. Fuck, he's, he won. he's gone rock and paper so far. So he's gonna... He's gotta go shears next. Does he's, that mean? No, no. He or 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 he he knows that you know that he's gonna go shears. Uh, that he's gonna go. What, what was the last one? Shears. Yeah, yeah. I went shears. He went rock. Okay. So then, then he'll alter because he knows that you know. So what do I pick? Boulder parchment shears. Which one? Uh, uh, a parchment. <sighs> okay, we got one. Okay. All right. He was not going to go shears two times in a row. Uh, so now what do we do? God, 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 why, why, why do I have to make all the decisions? Because <laughs> it's not going to be on me, damn it. <laughs> That's exactly why you're doing it. <laughs> she can play me later when it fails. Um, <laughs> I don't have a D3 or else I just roll these. Um. Oh fuck me! Um, hang on, hang on, Roach, hang on. <laughs> Get a D six. Get uh, no, a D6. I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. One did. Uh, 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 well, shears. 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 He went rock. Fuck. Okay, this is the last one. Okay. If he wins this. Parchment. Parchment. He went rock. Okay, he we're wins. good. Okay, we need to do this uh, three more times. We need to win Boulder, three more times. Boulder, Boulder, Boulder. You won paper. We we lost. I blame the die. Robert wins the argument. I suppose. I suppose with my ledger sticking out of your pocket, the truth is bound to come out sooner or later. Yeah. You got a ledger? Yeah. I, I didn't mention that. Correct version. I uh, while you were upstairs talking to him, I I I went into his back room and stole his ledger. <laughs> I played I played Boulder Portrait Shears with this man trying to get it. God damn it. I buried that blasted sheep, but I swear on my lucky left foot I had nothing to do with that body disappearing. One minute, Wait, if he buried it, why was it not buried? I left the room for just a moment to answer the bell in the front parlor, and when I returned, the body was simply gone. He said he buried that blasted sheep. Yeah, but we body. we found it above ground. Yeah, because I, I, I dug it oh, up. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. In its place was a sack containing more gold coins than I could even count. The message was clear. Silence is golden. Why don't you, uh, well, that's evidence. Why don't you give us all this gold? Um, <laughs> I just, my business has been declining right alongside the rest of our blighted city. Wait, shouldn't he be the only that's one whose business is booming? Yeah, why? <laughs> Everyone dies, man. You have a completely, like, recession-proof profession. <laughs> it's like you and doctors, because everybody dies and everybody gets sick. I knew I had to bury something or risk being found out. So that night, I stole into the market and made off with Bertie as fat as cheap. It was a bloody waste to stick so much fine meat into the ground to rot, but it had to be done. The next day, the pallbearers retrieved Jake's coffin, sealed to hide the body's terrible wounds. None the wiser that within the casket lay nothing more venerable than a slaughtered beast. I 
Why did you just put like rocks? In I. There? Now you can imagine I've spent more than my share of restless nights wondering who could have wanted that cadaver and for what purpose. I'm not an inch closer to imagining the why, but I've got a few inklings as to the who. Near as I can reckon, there are only four people who could have been involved. Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, Theleron's apprentice Evelyn, and Esmeralda. Well, what about Mayor and Cecil? Plenty of us shopkeepers entrust the mayor with the spare keys to our businesses, you know. And he's the only person in town with a second copy of the key to the mortuary. He could have used it to summon in without a peep if he were so inclined. And the captain? Aureus himself paid me a visit the night the body was delivered. Came rapping at my door in the frosty morning before the sun had even started peeping. And told me to tell him, and only him, if I noticed anything strange or suspicious about the remains. Okay. I can't see why he'd bothered to go through all that trouble. Unless he knew something the rest of us don't. Or, you know, it was a grisly murder. Mm -hmm. And he's the captain of the guard. Yeah. I know it sounds strange suspecting the doctor's apprentice of something so ghoulish as this, but there's few in this city could manage to transport a corpse without raising eyebrows. I... Okay. <laughs> Just because they're a doctor doesn't mean that they can walk through the city carrying a corpse and nobody bat an eye. <laughs> I don't know why, to, even in the medieval times, people would have gone like, Hey, why are you carrying that boy? <laughs> he prob maybe he just needed a medical cadaver. Yeah, but there's... Oh my, okay, let's keep... She who delivered Jake's body from the inn to the mortuary. And there was something about her that night. Some kind of excitement. Okay, Wait, well, she I got mean... She got excited over a corpse? I mean, I'm not gonna question, you know, whatever, whatever does you is you, as long as everybody agrees. You do you. Forehead. Seemed she could barely contain her thoughts, that there was something thrilling about to happen. I can't quite settle it in my mind how a young medical professional would have such a strange reaction to an occasion such as that. I mean, she's probably studied, like, in university for years, and learned a lot of things about, like, blood force trauma, and from what we saw, like, immediate evacuation of bodily fluids and blood <laughs> there was there uh, was liters of blood on that bedroom floor. i mean she's probably really interested in the fact that this finally happened and she has something to she, she's using that training i would say <laughs> and this may or may not have anything to do with the whole rigmarole but her master dr theleron bought an old shack of mine one overtaken by undead for an exorbitant price, considering what he was getting. I never did figure what he wanted it for, but he sure seemed eager. Medical cadavers. You're gonna use the undead as medical yeah. cadavers. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I'm calling it now. I never saw a widow less distraught at the death of her husband, and I've seen hundreds pass through my parlor. Yeah, you know, he's not wrong. He's... <laughs> Yeah, but I think she's. I think it's a red herring, though. I think yeah. she's just a horrible person. Yeah, I, th I, I think, think she's. she's yeah, this. I think she's just a terrible person. I'm. I'm leaning towards the doctor and Evelyn. Yeah, maybe. Because un undead, the doctor, the corpses. The body was snatched. Lured me outside, claiming she needed air before discussing the funeral arrangements. Summer Compass could have sneaked in and grabbed the remains while I was comforting the oh-so-overcome Esmeralda. Bag of gold. Yeah, yeah, about that bag of gold. Seems to that be changing the, the topic. Only good thing to come out of this blasted affair, and I certainly plan on making some use of it. Okay, we have another... Th <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We did charm. Reason, intimidate, or charm. Let's, let's do the intimidation thing now. All right. Intimidate zero. Okay, Boulder Parchment Cheers. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. Boulder. Boulder. He went parchment. Fuck. Boulder. Boulder. He went cheers. 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 He went Boulder. Fuck. Cheers. Cheers. He went boulder. <laughs> it's on to us. Parchment. Parchment. 
He went boulder. Okay. Shears. Shears. He went paper. <laughs> or bolt or parchment. Wait, 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 wait. I think he's responding to our whatever our last one was. So we just went shears. I think boulder's the next one we go. Because he's going to go something to break uh, shears, right? Or no, parchment. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, well, my my. Okay. Okay. You do. You do. You, Roach. You do. It's you. even right now. We we both win if we do one of the. I other. already rolled that. I rolled a three. That would be parchment. Yes, it would be. He won. He won boulder. Yes. We, we cracked the code. <laughs> Look, there's no need for all that. Take the gold then, and we'll call the rest even. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, need a we'll pair of your even. finest caskets. Take the gold, then. The death man. Oh, I was it? Oh, okay. That's his. That's his room. I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He wasn't kidding. That was almost 180 gold. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I think we need to do the outro now. <laughs> okay. Is it me? This is me. This is you. Uh, wait. This is number four. Isn't this you? Is this? I don't know. Is this four or five? I forget. I think this is four. This is four. This is four? And whatever, whatever, I'll do the outro. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for this uh, long episode, but I think it was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, if you liked the episode, please leave a comment down below and so hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button as well as take a look at the description down below in our videos where we have links to our discords and our patrons as well as the other perspective. Uh, but we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye.